namaste pranams vanakkam to celebrate the the international yoga day means all of us uniting with source and amplifying the energies for love peace harmony and consciousness to prevail so here we are on this sacred day the sacred moment of us all coming together yoga is unions and the objective of these unions is expanding consciousness attaining consciousness attainment of yogam attainment of yogam means abundance in health abundance in realities abundance in love leadership that comes naturally when we awaken and consciousness the union of breath and mantra awakens us to be the spirit the union of mind with infinity enables us to think from the higher place to enable each thought to be wisdom the union of our daily realities and our connectivity to source creates heavens so where a yogi is heaven is so all of this yoga is to awaken and be the yogi so today i'd like to share six dimensions of tools through which there would be different facets for each of us to absorb and incorporate with our daily yoga practice now the first of the dimension is to know that the objective of yoga is attainment of consciousness and this attainment of consciousness means the super conscious states of the mind and the super conscious states of the mind is where we are the many as one this is why in temples we have the many headed beings to depict the awakening when we awaken we are many 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 as one so this many is the gift of consciousness and there are five gurus consciousness is guru and guru is consciousness the first is our own breath the left breath and our right breath the next is our mother and our father now imagine our left palm to be a mother and the right palm to be a father rub our palms together and feel the blessings of the unions the father and mother as one within our cellular level where we are grateful to our mother and our father and to see the blessings the next are the gurus who open the doors for us all and any guru who have opened the doors to our source to allow us to light our own inner fire or to allow that inner fire to be lit and the fourth guru is our inner guru awake the fifth is the realization that everything is the, is the guru reality is the guru everything every moment is the guru so this is the journey through our daily yoga now to empower the mind is the second dimension yoga empowers us to be able to attain the mind which is of many and the mind which is of absolute clarity the mind which is like an eagle able to glide see the big picture bring focus this is the the gift of pranayama within yoga pranayama is the art of breath prana yama prana is the energies beyond death the awakening so pranayama is also the core within which we need be 
So before we get into the pranayama, we will go through the other dimensions of understanding how we can work the timing within the pranayama. Now, the pranayama of breath, which means the left breath and the right breath coming into harmony, is from the perspective of multiplying ourselves exponentially by awakening our consciousness. It was only recently that the scientists came to understand Einstein's brains, which was kept aside. For years, they could, the scientists did not know what was special about his brains. It was only recently when it was discovered that his left brain and his right brain was fused well. Pranayama just does that. It enables to awaken the hidden potential within us, but moreover brings us to the core harmony. Now, when we think of yoga itself, our entirety of yoga, especially Surya Namaskar, as a giant form of a pranayama, now our yoga is powerful and uh, able to transcend uh, whatever the limited realities are, we are able to transcend it with a higher conscious mind state. So in other words, utilize yoga itself as pranayama beyond the mode of pranayama that we are going to do next. Next. Awaken Mother Kundalini, the fire within us. To be lit within is the grace of many, many lifetimes. To be the human itself is a big deal. To be awake is to lead the multiplication of all the life. To be the Lord of life, the yogi. So, when we light the lamp within ourselves and allow that fire to grow, as that Mother Kundalini grows up, it blossoms our realities accordingly. Every reality that we have blossoms to the next dimensions as to where we intend it to be. So, yoga is all about awakening our Mother Kundalini, rising it and allowing ourselves to blossom in realities. Now, to light the lamp, what you light outside is the lamp we light inside. So it brings us to the fourth, which is lighting the root chakra. So when we light our root chakra and allow that fire to grow, we know our journey has begun and now we are in the vortex of light. And in this vortex of light, we are, we are guided, we are protected, we are blessed and grace always awakens us to being at the receiving end of grace. We awaken to understand the laws of karma and the law of dharma. And we are forever, perpetually now simply multiplying ourselves when we light our roots. But the roots in reality means shifting realities in its most potent way. In other words, the Mula Dara, the root chakra, enables us to bring our thought to reality in ease, to be able to have a life where obstacles dissolve itself before us, where our day is where we set a thought and it happens. We create realities with ease. This is the power of the root chakra. So to begin with at the root chakra, receive this mantra, the grace of a Siddha Guru, Siddha Guruji Raja Sami, through his lineage whom you receive this mantra, the mantra of Ganapati. Ring Getting into our yoga 
is to do sun salutation. Most of us are starved of time. So the thing we could really do is step into doing a sun salutation and working a sun salutation through all its perpetual, all its dimensions of energies. So the first of the sun salutation you would want to do is the left side, the left breath for your mother. Now, in this is a, secret, is a technique, a yogic technique. You press your big left toe down and the breath flips to the left. Press the right toe down and the breath flips to the right. So press the left toe down, imagine a mother and be in gratefulness. And when we do the first round of sun salutation, we are with our mother. Gratitude. Every cell in us is grateful to our mother, the first gurus. The right foot, the right big toe, press it down, take a deep inhale and the right breath as a guru, the sun breath as a guru, the right is our father and, and feel the gratitude from the cellular level. So this would be the first round of a sun salutation. Then the next round of a sun salutation is the power of our ancestors, press the left toe down invoke seven generations of our ancestors on the left side, your mother's side, and feel us connect our DNA to the ancient, to the through the through the lineages that we are. Likewise the right big toe, press it down when you do the sun salutation, and the right side is our father. Uh, our father's lineage, seven generations above. And remember that when we wake up Seven generations above us and seven generations below us are blessed in the light. So this is the first part of the journey. Now we wake up the root chakra and when we begin to take the next part of the journey, this is where pranayama comes in. So this is called the Vishnu Mudra. See, this is the Vishnu Mudra. Like this. Okay. Now we are going to say the mantra ring ang namaha once. When you say four times, you're saying the mantra four times. When you say it twice, you're saying the mantra twice. So we inhale once, we retain four times, we exhale twice. So close the right nostril, to the left nostril, take a deep inhale, saying the mantra once, all the way from the root chakra. Hold the breath, flip the hand to the right, to the left, keeping the right nostril open, saying the mantra four times. Exhale slowly to the right nostril twice. Inhale all the way from the root chakra once. Hold the mantra four times within. Ex say the mantra four times through the left. Exhale the mantra twice. Inhale the mantra once all the way from the root chakra. Hold the breath, say the mantra four times, through the right, exhale twice. Inhale all the way from the root chakra. Say the mantra within you. You can do the pranayama as many times as possible. Feel the mantra within. Ring ang ung anamane numum, 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 ring ang ung anamane numum. Now, when you're doing the sun salutation, know the power of the root chakra. The root chakra is where health is. The root chakra is where the primordial desire of all that which we are is transcended to becoming angelic. The root chakra is also where we receive the best quality thought itself. So, when you're doing the sun salutation, press the left toe down, say the say the say the the mantra for Ganapati. Rub your palms together and receive the blessings. 
Now the right side when you are doing the sun salutation, likewise press the right big toe down, take a deep inhale from the roots and say the mantra. And do your round of sun salutation, come up and receive the blessings. Now, having worked with the root chakra, which is the power, now we are awakening the guru within us, the inner guru within us. The inner guru rests above the navel. Now, in yoga, what we forget is the power of the navel, the power of the guru, the navel chakra. So, when we are doing our next round of sun salutation, we are working with the power above the navel, which is the Guru. So, first invoke the Guru. To have our Guru within us while we are doing yoga means, not only are we protected, but we are guided through higher wisdom and we are able to go deeper within ourselves with the grace of our Gurus. Now, the mantra I normally utilize which which invokes all and any guru is va 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 siva guru nada who is siva siva is that infinite infinite infinity who is also the supreme soul the supreme being within each one of us who is also the being who is the master siva guru nada va ma 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 siva guru va 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 then invoking let the guru be invoked within me when we when we utilize the mantra to to invoke the navel chakra a third eye by default opens when the third eye by default opens we are stepping into the next higher vibration within ourselves so when we are doing this, let's do the mantra, move the energy up above the navel, up, up, move the energy up above the navel and from here the third eye. And here, from here, when we do a yoga, a sun salutation, we are stepping in to the rooftop of the mind. So when we are doing a sun salutation, inhale, hold the breath of the root chakra, lift the energy up above the navel and with the Guru Mantra, Gently rise the rise the awareness to the third eye and exhale through the third eye. Utilize this cycle to climb up in the vibratory fields, the Guru energy. And receive the blessings. This you could do for each of your gurus, each of the beings who open the door. Siddha Guru Raja Sami Guruji would, would mention to me when you see an enlightened master, you need to see that master only once in your lifetime, and thereafter, when you invoke the being. They would come inside you and guide you and that's, those are the awake, enlightened beings. So invoke the masters and work with the energies, climb up above the navel. Now, a very important part of a yoga is the unions on all layers and levels, especially if we understand ourselves as being awake and being the spirit in the human body, enshrined in the human body. The human spirit is the experiences through the five elements. Now yoga is, yoga is the unions to be the spirit and the spirit that is connected to source, that is reflecting the light of source as the moon mind in our realities. So within this 
to awaken is the mantra of Lord Shiva, the Lord of Infinity, the Lord of Yoga. Now, the mantras are powerful when they come from inside out. So when you say Om, 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 Ah, 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 we are going inside to derive Om Namah Shivaya, the primordial mantra. Om. rejuvenation, the power of vitality, all that which is in the human, all that which is in the living that we are, all that which is connected to Mother Earth. So feel the body, feel Mother Earth, feel humanity, feel all of planet Earth. Om Namah Maya, Om Namah Maya, Om Namah Maya, Om Namah Maya, Om Namah Maya. When a vibratory field is enhanced, so is all the relationships around us. Let all the relationships twirl into harmony. Let all that which we are experiencing twirl into goodness and light. So this is the water element, the element of fluidity, the element of life itself. Om Namah Maya, Om Namah Maya, Om Namah Maya, Om Namah Maya. Om Namah Maya, Om Namah Maya. Tune in to the element of fire. When we are in the inner dance, we are the dancer and we are that light dancing, that fire dancing, that inner fire, the innermost fire of Mother Kundalini, that is the life, the source of life, the source of living, the source of living that is dancing within ourselves, the source of source unions, the, the unions of all the forms of infinity, all the forms of affinity with infinity. This is a yoga, yoga. <laughs> Om Namah Maya, 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 Om Namah Maya. Now, feel the air when doing yoga. It's preferable to do it with as less clothes as possible and to keep the window open so the air can flow through. And whatever the temperature is, whether it's very, very hot or very, very cold, our body is able to develop its own uh, alignment to that weather. And that is through the element, to this element, the element of air. We are able to master our inner fire through the element of air. Beyond breath, behind breath is wisdom. Her name is Tirunyana Prasanambige, the one who, who is pregnant with wisdom. She gives us the wisdom beyond our breath. Om Namah Maya, 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 Om Namah Maya. Om Namah Maya, Om Namah Maya, Om Namah Maya. Rabba Pand 
see the blessings. Beyond is now the infinity, the infinite sky, the power of infinity that we wish to bring into the finite, the power of that colossal energy that has no beginning, no end, that is beyond vastness, that is Siva, that Siva consciousness that we wish to be. So when we are saying this mantra now at this at this moment connecting to infinity, imagine the blue sky, if possible to step out and look at the blue sky, that is like stepping into the temple or mosque and looking at God as directly as possible, looking at the sky. Beings who were able to summon vast energies in the form of wisdom, in the form of realities, connected to infinity, the power of infinity. This is Yogam. So when you say the mantra, connect to Akash, Akayam, infinity. Om Namane Maya, 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 Om Namane Maya. Om Namane Maya, Om Namane Maya, Om Namane Maya, Om Namane Maya, Om Namane Maya. See the blessings. So, divine being, now that we've connected to that infinite, infinite, infinity, know that there is the goddess. The left side is our goddess. The divine feminine awaken is the goddess. So when we awaken the divine feminine, we are bringing to union the male and the female within ourselves. But when the divine feminine awakens, that's when we as men attain nirvana. We wake up. And when a woman awakens her divine feminine, humanity wakes up. Humanity uplifts. So press the left toe down, take a deep inhale, go down to the roots and from here go into the dolphin-like resonance within ourselves, which is the Divine Feminine Awakening. Feel the flow from the heart chakra, Narayani, the goddess of abundance. Let her flow in all her forms through health, through wealth, through love, through whom we are in our human realities and as the joy and the inspired energies we are. Narayani, 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 So when doing a yoga, through every posture, there is the male and the female. There is the masculine and the feminine within ourselves. So you could utilize them for the feminine. Every time we step and go deep within our yoga, you could utilize the feminine mantra, Nara, Yani, Nara, Yani, Nara, Yani, Nara, Yani. And the right side is Siva, 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 Om Namah Sivaya, Om Namah Sivaya. So it's literally like churning, churning the male and the female, the male and the female and working the brain, working our mind to climb up to the states of Turiya. The states of Turiya is where all masters, Mahatma Gandhi, Rumi, Albert Einstein, all these masters were spinning and dancing, Tesla, all these masters spinning over here. And this is the objective of yoga to attain the states of Turiya. And these states of Turiya is the petals of the Sahasrara, the, the lotus above that is woken up. So, as we wake up and as we have woken up, now, when we are doing yoga, we know that we are multiplying consciousness. 
and as we multiply our as we multiply consciousness and raise the vibration we worship lord shiva as sachidananda the one who is bliss in other words our entire body has become bliss our entire our mind states of joy now we are shiva consciousness we are the being of bliss we are the yogi awake so divine beings this these these dimensions that you received today for this world yoga day international yoga day is something you could incorporate light a lamp let your yoga be prayers let your yoga transcend the limits of whom you are the ultimate objective of sanatana dharma the ultimate objective of yoga is liberation we are liberated from the mind liberated from the body liberated from even the circumstances to simply be now we are the sun all of reality goes around us while we enjoy the dance within and allow the flow of source through us as in the states of our joy inspired in in inspiration in the fires of doing now international yoga day is a brilliant most beautiful moment for all of you all the yogis all the beings who practice yoga to wake up and come together once a year is maha shivratri and this once a year is the time the most powerful time to fulfill the objective of yoga to be the yogi 14 days prior begin your own inner journey all the yoga that we are practicing let it yield yogam the gift of yoga to be the yogi through this period of enlightenment the vortex of enlightenment maha shivratri so this is the world yogi day and the world yogi day as of now is guiding you as a yog as a practitioner of yoga to be the yogi so with all of this yoga let's uplift humanity let's enable a life of abundance in all its forms where consciousness is peace harmony abundance love and all that we seek as in the thought of heaven is here since we wake up for each to be the angel for each to be the multiplication of self for each to be the objective of yoga yogam the yogi om namah shivaya divine beings om namah shivaya om namah shivaya